Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You look very um, Croatian. What do you mean? You look very, very Croatian this morning. Is this the colours? It's, I think it's like the, the Croatian flag. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I need to poo. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Thanks for sharing with, with all of us. Make sure you take a picture and send it to me so I can put it right here <laughs> in the vlog. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's very early for me. It's even earlier for Diane. She's been up since the crack of dawn. Shock. But you're off now for a few More days. Rehearsals. You're going to miss the big thing that's happening today. I know. I'm actually and it's something that it. you'd actually really, really enjoy as well. I know. <sighs> Diane's left her honey and nut shredded wheat behind again. <laughs> What's she like? She's always leaving that behind. I say it every day. Look, don't forget your honey and nut shredded wheat when you go to work. See, this is when I'd actually love to get into the mind of Diane because this morning she's been doing her kefir mixing magic, whatever it is with what looks like a brand new sieve. And you know how I know it's a brand new sieve? She's not taken it off the cardboard, but still used it. But all sieves aside, but all sieves aside, um, something's happening today that is very, very exciting. Because in the dark room of doom, this whole room is gonna be transformed today. It's been a bit of a wait, but the wait's gonna be worth it because um, in about, 10 minutes time, there is a rather large lorry arriving with lots of gym equipment. Also, you guys have spoken, um, so apparently I am wrong. This is actually supposed to be facing in towards the wall. Um, so the cable is meant to be on the other side, which makes it flush. So apparently it's my fault. So I apologize to this company. Um, I was wrong, but my only thing is, I quite like seeing the light and I feel like if it's, twisting into the wall, am I gonna get less light into the room? So I want it like up against the wall like that, like that much. It's basically against the edge of the wall, taking up no space. But if that's turned around the other way, how much of the, it's gonna light up quite a small proportion of the wall, I think, which won't look as good as if it's, you know, the bulbs exposed and going into the room. What do you, am I still wrong? Cause I've got, I don't know, I, 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 I like it like this. Everyone in the comments was saying, Joe, you've got, wrong, you've got it the wrong way around. You need to turn it around the other way and it'll be fine. But I'll test it out later and see how it looks. But for now, time to get ready for this to become this. Never works. Okay, so whilst the gym is being installed currently, it's time to take Sergey out for a little cycle ride to find some bulbs to plant. Um, sort of out the front of the house but it's very hard to not get distracted by all the house plants. And keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Don't get distracted, keep walking. Which bulbs do I need? I like these, fire wings. We picked a very apt one, dancing dolls. Yeah, like, and to get these as well, or is that no, not included? No. Rembrandt, I know him. Right, I've got me bulbs. We've got some um, graceful beauties. We've got some dancing dolls for Diane and, oh, that's it. Dancing dolls and some graceful beauties. Oh, and also I did go for one of these in the end, a little bulb planter. One day, I'm still trying to find two perfect olive trees. There's got to be two that look relatively sort of similar. They're going to go in plant pots outside the front of the house. Um, these are really nice. They've got the thick trunks, but this one here, it's got a skinny little trunklet, but look how many olives are on there. It's packed full of actual olives. I would eat it, but I just know that from experience of having olive trees on my terrace in London, the olives do not taste good. They've got to go through some sort of process to taste good because this would not taste very nice. Or maybe that's just because I lived on a on a roundabout, a busy roundabout in London, so they're probably like infected with car fumes. So I think I'll leave it there. And hopefully from that, we'll grow another one. All this plant sniffing though has made me very, very hungry. So I am looking for the food section. Wrong species, not fish food. Oh my word. Well, this has uh, definitely escalated. Oh my word. Oh, so gay. My gooch still does not get on with that bike. Bike seat. Whenever I'm at the garden center, I have to get these pistachio Cannolis, that's the one, cannolis. These, with a cup of tea or like a decaf coffee, if you're me, 
very good. Cinnamon buns, which look amazing. I've not tried yet, but these do look very, very good. And of course, we've got, they call it a Yorkshire pasty. It says basically a Cornish pasty, but it's made in Yorkshire. But it's exactly the same as a Cornish pasty, which that should be illegal. Right, it's nearly the end of the day and it's time to show you the finished gym. Well, the current state of the gym is not 100% finished yet because there's a few little things that I want to potentially do, which I'll share with you in a minute. But for the time being, come with me and you'll see it's a world of da 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 da. Boom. It's in. And this thing, my God, this is a bulky old unit, Jesus. Before I delve into all this, I, the most important thing, this. I have got my Allen key set out and changed it round the way. So that is how it, let me turn the lights off so you can get a, a sense of how it's looking. We have it looking like that, right? But then you see like a black, a black line. This is what, this is what I don't get. Cause yes, it's making the wall up a little bit, but you'll get this big old black line. So I'm more, I, I still feel like this makes more sense because it lights up the wall and you get to see the color straight on. What do you, oh, I need to have a, we need to do a pole or something. Do you prefer that where you can actually see the light and it lights up the wall? Or, or do you think it's better like this where it's now flush the wall, but you've got this black, black light that way. I can't decide what I think's better. This or that. This or that. I'll let you ponder that in the comments and fight it out amongst yourselves as to what you think is better. But, gym is done. Dumbbell rack, all the way from 2.5 kg, nice and light, um, all the way up to 30 kg, which, <laughs> believe it or not, back when I was younger in my sort of thatching days, I got to the point where I could push 30s and do chest press with 30 kilograms in each hand, which was, more than my own body weight. Obviously could not do that now. Of course, I mentioned down here, we've got all these little um, like different attachments that go on the cables on like, this big machine. So like things for doing your lats, like your lat pull down bar, um, all these different grips. This has now become the corner of all the, <laughs> the stuff we had beforehand. This is what we were working with before. 1.5 kg or 4.5 kg. That was your options back in the day. Not anymore, because now we have these big boys. Still gonna keep these. We've got things for, oh my God. I think it just broke my knuckles. This is all for like, um, when, when I go bouldering with Max Fosh. This is what I use. <laughs> just get some grip strength. Things like that, you put your fingers in there and you stretch them outwards, all these different things to improve your, I mean, is that, is that part of that? I don't know. Skipping ropes, lifting uh, straps, um, wheel, all this kind of stuff. Boxing gloves, <laughs> these bad boys. If I ever got dragged into a YouTuber boxing match, this is what I'd use. These old, I'll do it old school, which I think these are filled with straw. I'm a Thatcher, that sounds like straw. And here we've got various mats, like yoga mats, Diane's weird um, foot stretching torture device. Box, box jumps. In saying that, look at these things. I actually think first things first, before I even use this gym for the first time, I'm gonna take a picture of my legs as they are now. Um, <laughs> frame it, put it on the wall in the gym. So every time I come in here, I'm like, right, I've got to train legs. Um, it's a goal of mine, definitely, is to improve my leg strength. Cause um, I do have very, very thin, fragile legs and uh, no more. There was an option to have something like this, but it didn't come with the cables inside it. Um, but this version had the cables inside, so I think it just makes sense to have it all in one place because it does free up some space here for something else to potentially go here in the future. Not sure what that thing would be. We've been looking into those sort of ski erg things. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, but potentially something cardio related here. Um, but for the time being, this basically does everything. You've got your pull-up bars here. You've got um, obviously your cable cable weights which go up to 120 kg on each side, which is very, very heavy. Um, we've got the bar here, we've got the, obviously these things that stop it from falling on you and killing you. Um, but yeah, for doing uh, bench press, squats, uh, all that kind of stuff, 
this is the kit to have. And we've even got this thing on the side here, which you can obviously raise up higher than that, as it's there for the time being, because you have to move this and move that to do it. But you take that, put it up higher, and you can do your dips off this as well. So it basically covers everything. So between like this, that, <laughs> this, um, and this, which I don't really use, it's more Diane's, it is pretty much covered. Um, one thing I've been thinking about is, is this room too light for a gym? I think most people always like paint their gyms quite dark colors, which I don't know if I want to follow suit and do that. What I might do though, is eventually get creative and who knows, maybe even this whole wall could be one big mural that I could eventually paint with some help of some others. Do some sort of like crazy art mural on that wall. I think could even make the room all of a sudden look very, very small or could look really, really cool. Or it could look shit. But there you go, that is the gym. Maybe it's the sort of mural that I should go for <laughs> in the gym. I don't know what show this is. Oh, um, Lola and a duck. Must be. Is that a duck? It's a final straw day today. Time to fill these whiteboards with bits and bobs, trying to get a TV show away. <laughs> Jack! Jack! Oh, yeah. spot. You now join me. In that time, and that's all we'll it looks like a park, like a Chelsea, it's a Chelsea, a Chelsea lounge. Season 2 Manchester United, he says it's a, a tougher start to the oh! Jim! I am so lost. I have no idea where I'm going. But I'm hoping Two, six, one, this way. Two, six, up here. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh my God, this is terrifying. That's the longest corridor I've ever seen in a long old time. My, my leg hurts as well. I've broken my leg. Two, six, six. That's not the one we want. Hello. Hello. The fire alarm's going off. You've got to get out. Get out. The fire alarm's going off. You've got to get out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of that vlog. It was a very, very odd ending. So basically, after work, I went to Stamford Bridge, which is Chelsea Stadium, to go and watch Chelsea play Brighton with my friend Jack, um, and had two or three glasses of rosé, which is two glasses too many, and also rosé, never again. And then rather than going home, decided to go and stay at a hotel uh, the hotel that Diane, Diane was staying in. Just, just for clarification, that is Diane in that clip. That is, weirdly, the end of the vlog. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, and I will see you again very, very soon with another vlog. But remember, I'm not a daily vlogger. Goodbye.